money. Depending on your view, it's either what the world revolves around or the root of all evil. And just when you think your finances can't get any more confusing, a new type of currency enters the arena. So buckle up kids, because it's time to figure out what the Bitcoin is anyway. Bitcoins are a digital currency that's best equated to gold. Both these items are a rare, limited resource that's perceived to be valuable. How can something digital be limited and rare? It's actually quite clever. The anonymous developer or developers referred to as Satoshi Nakamoto developed a block of data that when run through a mathematical algorithm creates a specific pattern. Now there's a finite amount of these patterns that can be discovered, and the more that are discovered, the harder it is to find the next one. Among other requirements, these blocks contain the patterned hash of all the previous blocks. Because each block contains the history of all blocks before it, it makes them unique and virtually impossible to duplicate. I know that's confusing, but let's look at how all this works. Let's say Glitch Pin here wants to send me one Bitcoin. Before I can do anything with Bitcoins, I first need to set up a Bitcoin wallet. And similar to a checkbook from your bank, the wallet can generate encrypted transaction addresses for each transaction. These verify your account and also serve as your digital signature. We then send this over to Glitchpin, who in turn signs, verifies, and encrypts it with his wallet. So this number represents the entire transaction. And this gets stored publicly so that the Bitcoin community can verify it. This community, known as Bitcoin miners, verify every transaction in exchange for a reward. Here's how it works. Let's say, for learning purposes, that the hash algorithm is MD5. Here's a converter so that you can follow along. And let's say that the pattern is 1-0 at the beginning of the hash. The mining software takes the hash from the last successfully generated block and combines it with recent transactions, a reward transaction, and a random number known as a nonce to make a new block. This is all run through the algorithm to see if it returns our pattern or not. If not, we change the nonce and try it again. This continues until it successfully returns our pattern. Then the block is added to the blockchain and the miner gets their reward. You can visit this website if you want to see what an actual blockchain looks like. If you want to try your hand at mining bitcoins, you can click here to find out how to set up a Raspberry Pi mining rig. What's your thought on bitcoins? Are they the future of currency or is it just a bunch of techno hype that will blow over in the next year or two? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, you can click here to watch the last tutorial and comments video. If you enjoy these videos, please support me by subscribing, and you can also check out my Google+, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, hack to learn. Don't learn to hack.